I gotta go make a parts run. I need self-etching primer and I need four cans of brake cleaner. Thanks for watching all these little updates as we go through and build this car. A very nice uh, person commented either on YouTube or on Reddit that they said these little incremental updates on what it's like slowly putting a classic car back together we haven't even really started taking it apart yet we've been just been prepping parts but it is a long long process especially if you're doing it in your spare time and i'm not even doing it at the spare time i'm at bruce's shop geez, almost three times a week at least doing little bits here and there so when you see that stuff on, on, on television shows, how it's all consolidated, that's not how this works. And like, oh, they need to do it by the end of the week. I, I gosh, I don't know, that, that can't happen. They, those shows have to be cooked where they're building a classic car in a week. I guess maybe you could do it if you had an entire team there working around the clock and you, and you already had a game plan. But we, we run into little sidetracks and, and setbacks and this part doesn't match and, and, uh, and you know, snapped off bolts and, and searching for problems we didn't knew, know we had, knew we had. It's, it's a long, long process. And then there's little stuff like this, like I walk in here ready to paint on an oil pan cover <clears throat> and little duh moments. And Bruce says, you have primer, right? Oh, I don't have primer. I say, well, you're going to need self-etching primer. Here's the part number. Go get like five cans of it. So we we'll get five cans of primer. I have two cans of Ford blue paint and uh, I'll read you the part number once, once I get back there. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to need more than three three rattle cans. I, I, I ordered two and I thought, oh, maybe I'll need another. Probably going to need more than three cans. So, so, so the next time I order stuff from Amazon, I'll just include another can of, uh, I think I'm using Duplicolor. And I'll have the part number on there in case you uh, want uh, the Ford Blue engine paint. At least I don't have to go too far to get to advanced. Geez, this is turning into a blog, isn't it? You know, an oil pan. Let's just uh, let's just uh, paint an oil pan and do some other things. And thank you again for advanced for having that water pump the next day for us. Just here it is, the next day. It came from DC. So it's a water pump for a 1968 timing cover. Uh, the timing cover that Bruce had, Bruce just had it from some other project. One of the bolt holes was TIG welded shut because it was cracked or stripped or something like that. And uh, that came from his Mustang graveyard in the back room. Uh, older Celica. Oh, I'm sorry you can't see that because I have this thing on super wide mode. But this is what? Industrial drive or something like that in the newly developed Tilden Township, which wasn't a town until Cabela's moved in. And now they have their own police force. It really turned into a destination for a lot of people. Mostly because of the Cabela's. They want to go in there and bask in the... bask in masculinity. And little kids running around with little pop guns on there. But to me, Cabela's is just this local place. But, you know, one business beget an entire town. Beget an entire... not town, but sort of... Uh, center. No one really lives in Tilden Township. It's just uh, this uh, a bunch of shops at the intersection of Route 78 and 61. Anywho. I thought about doing a meet at Cigars International right here, but seeing how many people came up to the sort of secret meet we had at the Racquetball Club, uh, I, I invited like 10 people I'd expected 20 people to show up and 50 people showed up to the sort of secret RCR meet in the rain. So 
we if we had a meet at like if I announced a meet at Cigars International we would overrun that place so that place is out even though it's a cool building all right primer and brake clean